Hello guys, welcome back to Danganronpa. I haven't recorded or played this game since August last year, so um, of course I look different this time. And also, I hope this is the, this is the, the, I hope this is the right save file where we left off. So we're in Makoto's room right now after we talked to her classmates in the cafeteria in last episode. This is really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Oh right, because he said something about his bathroom door not working, even though all the other, or like the girls' bathroom doors do have a lock on them or something like that. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? So let's check it out. I forgot the controls. I always forget the controls because I never really stick to playing Danganronpa. Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Oh! <laughs> that sound kind of scared me. Oh god, I gotta do the voices again on camera. Psst. Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. <laughs> wah wah! Like some kind of robot bear ghost. Me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Makoto Naigi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. Oh god, here we are again. Yes, this really do be dang and Uh huh. Uh huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. So, um, maybe you could go and fix it or something? Wait, so the reason it won't open is, isn't because it's locked, the door is just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Don't we have like a corkscrew toolkit in our room or something? Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? <laughs> um, no, we're in a school but I can't read, that's why I came to school, so you teach me how to read. That's what I thought would happen here, but nope. We're gonna learn how to fix doors now, guys. That's how you really build muscles for life. The bathrooms and the boys' rooms don't have locks! <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Hey, I too need my privacy when pe for peeing, okay? What was that? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular little fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Really learning how to fix a door. Okay, bring it on, Monokuma. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the door knob, then lift it up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. I thought he's gonna be like, oh, you can have some bombs, some TNT, some C4. Just, just apply it here on your door and kaboom. Blow it up. Turn the knob, lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Yeah, but why? Because I'm the protagonist, guys! You're supposed to be ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Bye bye Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! He just despawns. Okay, whatever. Hey, hey, wait! Oh, Jesus. Damn it. I guess it's time for the curfew. It's time to take a nap, guys. High school. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Whatever you say. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Why do I have the feeling that someone's gonna be dead <laughs> in the next morning? But who would be this stupid and be like, oh, uh, let's kill, let's, let's kill tonight. Uh, <laughs> that would be really dumb. It looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. I really hope everyone's sticking to that. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. Imagine sleeping in a situation like that. Why is there a TP roll laying on my floor? I was still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I wasn't ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Well. 
Maybe it's just a dream. So this is how this this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Week Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? Hey, don't steal my lines. That's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monokuma Theater! Oh, I, right, I forgot these things exist. Yeah, talking more in my Monokuma voice, which I'm too shy to do right now, because face cam. <laughs> in any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid, thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Oh yeah, looking forward to that. Oh, that was a short one. I'm glad. Weren't the Monokuma theaters different in V3? I can't remember right now, but I think he was wearing stupid costumes. C c costumes. I don't know how to speak. Uh, at some point. Oh, uh, hey, we're still alive and we're still in this shithole. Oh, what a beautiful day to be here. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Let's get go. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Let's get this bread. And I say this heading to the cafeteria. Apparently, it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Imagine waking up at 7 a.m. Imagine not staying up till 7 a.m. Oh boy. Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now, alright. <laughs> Meta slave. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna go ahead to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Okay, yeet! Oh, hey, hey, Ishimaru. Um, Sayaka, where are you? Where? Oh, Toko. Hello. Let me in. I guess this is Toko's room. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. Okay, okay. That's that's me. And this is Sayaka. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use it. Ah, fuck. I should have talked to Taka before that. Open up, sleepyhead. Oh. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? For what? Listen. I have a favor to ask. What? What favor? Uh, okay. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. <laughs> I don't even have voice cracks anymore. Like in, I was cutting last video, like the last episode. I was like, why did I have horrible voice cracks when voicing Sayaka? But let's just keep it that way. Let's make her sound horrible. Why does the sun under the... Next to the morning thing in the corner, look kind of creepy though. Uh, yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um, uh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self defense. Self defense? Um, well, uh, I mean, whoever keeps us here could show up and attack us anytime. You never know. We could use Sakura for self defense. She could literally beat up everyone. Or Mondo. But he can only beat up me because I'm a twink. And he doesn't like twinks. Whoever, uh, whoever trapped us here, whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. What do you mean? What do you mean that's an insane position? What do you mean about this whole situation? That's just what school feels like. Makoto, wake up, dude. Have you never been to a school? Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it. That display case in a gym entryway had a bunch of stuff, maybe. Oh, right, I think I remember. Oh, the gym! Okay, let's just stop reading my mind! <laughs> Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh, this one is voice acted, okay. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. <laughs> Am I really so easy to predict? We couldn't even kill her if we wanted to try, because she'd be like, Oh, Makoto, I know what you're trying to plan. Anyway, we should head, head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news! You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. Teleport? It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. 
Plus, you can teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls, there's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun! How can I open the- what? Why am I so small? Jesus! What? Hey, um, you're going to the gym, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> good then, let's get moving! I don't know how the teleport thing goes, but I don't care, we just gotta talk to him now. Good morning, Makoto! Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an ener energizing way to start the day. <laughs> now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. <laughs> let's just not talk to this guy. Um, um, where's the gym? How can I run? How can I? How can I run? Oh, there's the map. There's. The entrance? Let me out! I... Where am I? <laughs> uh, oh, I think the gym is here, okay. Okay. Oh, hey, Toko. Maybe, maybe... We oh, hey, there's everyone. Maybe we shouldn't use the, the teleport thing, because otherwise we would miss talking to people. Hey! Toko together with those other two? Quite a combination. What's your problem? You, you, what do you want? You, you look like you have something to say. <laughs> no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with the two people who have muscles <laughs> where their print should be is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Why did she sound like Sonic? Yesterday, yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. <laughs> I n never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You shouldn't. You well. You think we should go after her? Wait. Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well. Oh yeah, good point. They're like water and oil. Anyway, it'd be weird if they did get along. I don't know what's going on with you guys. How can I close the map? You still want to talk to me, Asahina? Hey, Makoto. Well, look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, nice answer. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Uh, hey, muscly girl, muscly waifu. We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um, and that's why you went with Hina and Toko? However... Well, Hina is the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Understandable. I feel you, feel the social anxiety racing up in my bones, let me in, I cannot uh, walk. I'm here now, guys. Oh, oh, why am I here? Uh, hi. Okay. I mean, seriously? Man, what the hell is with this metal hatch thing? Are you still trying to open it? It's really on there, that's for damn sure. Anyway, there is nothing to do around here, you're gonna freaking die of boredom or something. Uh. And being stuck in here is keeping me from racing toward my dream too. Hey, um, your dream? Yeah. Yeah, to become a musician. You can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century, right here. Yeah, I hear you complaining. I have the same necklace as you have. Not this one, but another one. <laughs> How cool is that? God, I feel so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. Oh, you mean me? <laughs> She's like, mm. he's talking about me. He's talking about Makoto. T dreams <laughs> What? Did you say something? <laughs> Sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. I can't take her serious. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to you. Uh, bye. I'm gonna head out. Leave the area. Yes. <laughs> Ignoring Mondo. Something just made a loud noise in my house. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, where is the freaking cafeteria? Yeah. Shouldn't the gym be here? I think I just was there. Wasn't I? Oh. Wow. Wow, guys. Then let's go. Let's go to the gym. Let's go to the beach. Eat. Let's go on a date. They say what they're gonna say. Huh, how did you get here? I'm wondering. Hey, um. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in a display case I can use. Um. How about the katana? How about this one? Is this a sword? No, I think it's just a replica. 
still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and it got that gold stuff all over my hands. Ah. Being a cosplayer, sometimes having to work with glitter, I know that feeling. Wow, you're right, your hands are totally gold. Oh, let me lick it off. <laughs> Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. How about we use, like, one of the the, the big reward statue things over there? Trophies, trophies, that's the English word, Jesus Christ. Hey, um... You can bonk it on someone's head. Or, like, one of the flags and, like, strangle people with it. You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. <laughs> Just for decorations. I thought this was about self-defense. You think so? Or is she trying to not look sus? Blue kind of sus right now. <laughs> but I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Is there, isn't there like a rule about not taking anything from places? I don't know. Okay, but how are we supposed to murder people? I don't see anything. I could really use for self-defense. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Or is she trying to do the stabby stab stab? Is she trying to stab me? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. <laughs> okay, simp. You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Zaka giggled as she said that. That's that mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I, oh, the soundtrack changes. Yeah. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, so we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Why is she <laughs> getting on my nerves? <laughs> it's not her fault. It's just sometimes I like in Genshin Impact when I started playing the game, sometimes I see characters and I start feeling the urge to give them horrible voices and then every time I have to talk have to voice them I just don't like bye. Alright. Um, um Um I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Uh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> and I was the one who invited you to come with me, uh to uh sorry. Uh, this is kinda awkward. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> She's like, I can start beatboxing! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's beatboxing. For her and for me. You don't- You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. How do you want to stare off into space when there's a ceiling above us? Uh, uh, <laughs> stare off into space? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you're probably super bored. Just standing around doing nothing. Uh, uh, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just- I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. We can go to the cafeteria and have breakfast, maybe. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? A dream? Well, what about you, Saka? Why, why don't you just answer her question, dude? What kind of conversation is this? At least she's like trying to put effort into it, trying to start a conversation. He's like, uh, what about you? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My, my dream is... I... Oh, the music changed just to something serious. I've always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. You are a star, but okay. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. I should maybe give her a serious voice. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. This voice is too cool for her. First to TV. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lo lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. Oh. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. Oh. Did she kill someone? I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. She's like trying to audition for a role her best friend also auditioned for and she just jumps on her and like <laughs> twisting her neck. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. Oh god. What is that expression? But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. 
Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. That's deep, bro. Z uh, 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 what's the world? This... Uh, quickly escalated. Is it? Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy every single day. I wake up and get to do what I do. Oh, so she's afraid that she's not gonna make it out of here. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. Oh, so she's worried about her teammates, I think. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka, dude, chill, we're in a killing game right now. There's other things to worry about, I guess. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope Speak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Hope Speak Academy is like that one, like you get a mail or like a post, like... You just get like something in your mailbox, which is like, oh, go to Hope Speak Academy now. You will, you will be rich. You will be talented. You will get all the things you ever wanted in your life. Yeah, but it's a scam, and then you end up being in a killing game. So um. Now, now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Oh, while I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. Dude, she needs a hug. What's still? Sayaka. I can't afford to be stuck in here! She's just having like a, a mental breakdown. We're just standing there like... Okay. So am I gonna get some coochie or... <laughs> oh. That was the first time I heard, I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind of words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, uh, it's okay. I kinda killed the mood, huh? <laughs> no, not at all. Monokuma killed the mood, so that's fair. No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Zayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Well, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. Sounds disgusting. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She bursts out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the pride smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. She be coping, I guess, so, um, yeah. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. It's something ha- oh. oh, okay, I took the katana with me. Hey. Oh, the only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Um, anyway, there's still plenty of time left in a day- Oh, free time events. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, yes. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can pot potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Swear it is the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you will witness intim intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. Ah, these events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. 
When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. So, with how many people can we talk to? After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage your free time, you can always just simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you just try out speaking, spending some time with, well, with Zayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Free time! That was also the thing I thought, but... Uh, we have been talking to her since two episodes now. But maybe. I don't really know anything about the other characters so far, so... No one is interesting so far. And I'm not gonna talk to Mondo, that guy punched me in the face. The only thing in my room is a fake sword. Yes, yes, we had this topic. How can I leave? Bathroom. The store doesn't quite fit in the door frame. I have to make sure and remember the trick to opening it. So, oh, gotta press R for exit. R, R, German, you know. So, we can just knock on people's rooms. Zayaka. Where are you? Girlie. Hey, hold still. I guess I should press the doorbell. Bing bong! Um, uh, you know, Makoto, I'm so anxious, I really am afraid. Oh, she's talking normally now. <laughs> I really am afraid. Huh? Should I talk to Saika for a while? Yeah, why not? Um, are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. So, if I'm making you take time out of your day like this? I mean, Makoto is a sim, so we just gotta do what he's really wanting to do, which is simping for. A girl he's never gonna get because she's literally a pop star and he's just too tiny to even look at her face. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? I don't have any, I think. What would you like to give to her? My heart. I don't have anything. Ugh. I can't... I can't do anything. And I... Um... 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 Can I please go back? <laughs> okay, I can press escape. I shouldn't want to give her any- I don't have anything, man! What'd you like to give- Ah, uh, what? No! I- I don't have anything! Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, um, sorry. Um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? Um, sure. Well, what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Um, well, it's just, I guess I was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Why is the only person that's talking to me this crazy chick? Uh, um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're with me. Zayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that self smile. That's creepy, dude. What the frick? I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But it's kind of strange, you know. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All from middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. Oh. How the tables turn? It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Oh, frick. Is this Doki Doki Literature Club? Huh? Oh, I... huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. Well, here we are now. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. Oh, I know the feeling. But why me? Um, do you remember during your first year of junior high that huge bird wandered into the school pond? <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle once, er once every million years, a bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during your first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Huge bird. A sparrow isn't huge. What's a heron? I don't know. A crane? It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay, that's right. Th that's what it was. It was so big the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you let it into the forest behind the school. You have to find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. And he made me do it. You see? That's actually cute, just imagining him, like, babysitting the pets at school. I should have said thank you then, but 
Is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane you see. I was gonna, I was gonna say like, oh, don't, she's gonna say, oh, that's me, but she really did it. Uh, I've come to return a favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we meet again at a train station somewhere downtown, that would make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out just like that crane. You saved me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. Going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides my intuition, always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm, I'm psychic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said LOL. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of her of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Thank you. Um, oh, once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. We're back home, guys. So we back in the mine. And... Ding dong, bing bong. Why am I reading it out loud? What's going on? <coughs> this is a school announcement. Oh, it's already... It is now okay. 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Whatever you say, Monokuma. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. Can I can I save the game now? Today's already come to an end. I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. How can I? How can I? As my eyelids began to slide close, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under in is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her? No. Compared to everyone else here? There is no doubt that just don't match up. Well, I mean, he just won the lottery, so I guess that might explain my own frustration. How can I exit the game? Yeah. Ahem. So I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest student already so full with despair still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Pounding excitement. Thank you, Monokuma. Thank you. Oh, good morning, guys. We're here again. Hello? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day. So, um... Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time. Okay, guys, but I think we're gonna end it here for this episode of Danganronpa. See you in the next video when we're gonna talk to maybe Saka, maybe someone else. Let's see what's gonna happen. Maybe someone's gonna die. I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna head out. But see you in the next video. Until then, Shazam. soon.